Hello everybody and welcome back. Thanks for joining my GTI fitness page. Okay, so listen, we've got Facebook here, we've got Instagram here. So good morning everybody. I hope you're all well. My name is Martin Jensen. I'm not sure if you've done the classes that we've done this week already. On Monday, where we've been doing some Pilates and on Monday we started off with the alignment to the breathing and the center. Yesterday we did Pilates with the pole, so that was more alignment and squatting and split squats. And we did some warm up as well, lots of mobility. Okay, today's class we are going to be doing the band. Okay, so we've got the flexi band. Has everybody got one of these at home? If you've not got one, you need to get one. It's the easiest piece of cake, you can do absolutely everything with it. It's fantastic. You can work every single muscle group through your body. Okay, you can also do mobility exercises, you can use it for stretching as well. Okay, so more of you coming on, welcome, welcome. So I've done these classes this week to celebrate my new website, martinjensen.tv. So if you want to do online classes of all Pilates, freestyle fitness yoga, conditioning, kettlebells, dance classes like Latin, disco and Zumba, then you can have a look at that website and you can join those. So, are we all okay? Are we all raring to go? Yes, I can see some thumbs up, some stars, some waves. Excellent. Okay, so without further ado, I'm just gonna move that there because something just popped up and got in the way. I'm gonna move you down a little bit. So guys, just make sure if you've got any injuries or issues that you're okay to do exercises. And you've, if you do, well, I'm sure you'll know if you've got, if you do get one of these bands and you've got any latex allergies, make sure you get latex free. Quite important, otherwise you'll end up with big lips and big ears and like that. <laughs> We're gonna go through the basics quickly. Just move you down a bit more, sorry. Not very professional this one, is it? We're just gonna quickly go through our alignment, breathing, core, mobility. And then this morning, when we do the Pilates band exercises, we're gonna do intervals. So we're gonna do a minute with the band, and then 30 seconds I'll be introducing the next exercise, showing you the technique, and then off we go for another minute. So how does that sound? Guys, kick your shoes off. Okay, your best to use being socks or bare feet when you use the band. Just that trainers can obviously make it wear out quicker and it can tear. Just check that your band hasn't got any rips or holes in it before you start. So just have a look all the way down. Uh, so I use a black one, that's quite a tough one. What does it say? That's a strong one. Whoops. And blue is a medium one. Okay, you can see I've been using that one quite a lot. It's all that tangled up. So I'm gonna go for this strong one today. So I'm feeling strong. <laughs> Hope you are too. So I'll just move my shoes. Okay, so let's just let you hold the band, dangle it down in front. Let's just go through our ABCs. We'll have a little bit of music at the same time. Alignment, think about our posture. Take a look down at your feet. If you want to have those hip distance apart. If you can have your feet pointing forwards, even better. Okay, little pelvic tilt, forwards and back. So we're just recapping what we did on Monday, and a bit yesterday as well, about alignment through the body. Getting all the way evenly down through your joints. Trying to decompress and lengthen the spine. So think about your sitting bone is drawing down and the bottom of the spine on the sit tailbone. And the top of the spine lifting up to the ceiling. So you're trying to elongate, decompress. And then lift your shoulders up and roll them back and down. So I want you to think about this drawing back and down phase of that movement through your shoulder girdle. And then draw it down and try and keep your shoulder blades against the back of the rib cage and coming in and downwards, almost like they're going in a V shape. Your neck's lengthened and the chin just slightly comes back so that your cervical spine lengthens. Stretch the skin at the back of the neck, you don't want to look like a bulldog. <laughs> okay, now breath. Take the hands on the ribs, breathe in wide and full. 
And as you breathe out, gently connection through your center. Breathe in. And exhale. Now we've got the band here, so this is a really good time for us to maybe take the band around the rib cage, around your lower ribs. Maybe I should have used the blue one, it's blending in. <laughs> it's blending in with my top, isn't it? <laughs> round the ribs. And cross it over and just hold it gently around the rib cage. So I'm gonna take your breath in laterally, thoracically, and feel the band expand out to the sides under your arms. And as you exhale, you'll feel like your arms are moving out a bit because the band's stretching. So breathe in, feel the band expand. Feel the breath under the arms, out to the sides. And exhale, gently engaging your core. One more time. And exhale. So we've got a gentle contraction through the center like a corset or a big belt, very, very gently tightening up. And we've done our ABCs. Okay, so let's do some mobility now. And we'll start with shoulders. Keeping the band slack, float your arms up in front, thumbs leading the way, and draw them down. So as we raise the arms up, so think of a Pilates technique, shoulder girdle stability. Draw your shoulder blades down, your scapula. Also, you might see I sometimes stand like this, come back's quite tight. Pull your ribs down a little bit. Raise them a bit higher if you can. So we're trying not to change the position of the spine. Avoid this. We don't want to extend. I want you to think about keeping the ribs down as your arms come up, and then bring it down. And if you look at the shoulders, they're still staying as far away from the ears as we can. Okay, a little bit of tension on the band. Take your right arm across, rotate, lift it up. Big circle, and round. So you're starting to rotate through the shoulders. Now try and keep your body facing the front as your arms move. Big circles. So we're getting the synovial fluid warmed up. It gets more runny, it nourishes the, the cartilage. It makes the joint glide better. And we're preparing the joint and the muscles, warming it up for when we do add more resistance. Let's go the other way. Still keeping good alignment. Still using the breath wide and full, lateral thoracic breathing. Okay, one more. Then take it down to here. Give your shoulders a roll. Lift and roll them back. Excellent. Okay, so we're gonna do some rotation, but we're also gonna work the chest, shoulders, triceps. So we're gonna do a chest press with rotation. So take your band up under your arm, around your back. Hold it between your thumb and finger. Take a breath in. As you exhale, you're gonna push one arm across and rotate. And return. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna start the timer and we're gonna do a minute of this exercise. And then we'll do 30 seconds rest whilst we change. So keep going. Get me timer, I thought it was on my pocket. <laughs> okay, ready? So we go, you've got a minute of these. So you breathe out to push. Keeping the hips facing forwards. Draw your shoulders down away from the ears. The hips might move slightly, a little bit of relevant movement, but we try not to let them do this or twist your knees. Okay, let's change it slightly. Take your feet a little bit wider. This time, as you rotate, let your heel lift. So Pilates with the Band is one of the many classes that I'm teaching online on Martin Jensen TV. Tomorrow we've got Pilates with the mini ball. So I'll give you some ideas to do with that. So 
So at the moment we're getting spine mobility, rotation, and a transverse plane of movement. Okay, there's the bell. Finish off on the opposite side. Well done. Okay, we're gonna do some lateral flexion. So guys, if anyone's got any back issues, any bone problems or joint or disc, you're gonna keep this really, really tiny, tiny. Take the band. Okay, and we're gonna hold it. We'll just start with it here to start with, level one. So it's gonna be a lateral flexion, working on a frontal plane of movement, which is either side of your body. Because we're coming out of alignment, you wanna use your core, your center. So just feeling that abdominals gently drawing in as you bend side to side. Sitting bones are still drawing down to the floor. Okay, next option, we can take the band up above the head. See how we're keeping the arms a bit like a frame? Can you see that there? <laughs> and then if you want to, you can use your lats. Hold the top arm still, stretch the band down to the side of the leg. And you've got to use your shoulder stability to stop this top arm from getting pulled over your head. So keep drawing your shoulder girdle down. Keep a strong centre. And let's breathe it out. And breathe in. Exhale. Okay, last one. Well done. Fantastic. So lateral flexion and rotation. So we're going to move to squats now. I want you to take the band, hold each end, and step both feet into the band. Okay, gather the band up so it's tight, you want that resistance. So if you remember what we did with the pole yesterday, you start off with a hip hinge, then you bend your knees, and then come up, squeeze your glutes, and back. So lumbo pelvic rhythm, sit back, squat, lift. Gather the band up to make it harder. Pull the ribs in. Squeeze those glutes. Okay, so you're drawing the shoulder blades back and down. How are we getting on? You could do this holding weights, couldn't you, if you wanted to. I'd really suggest getting a band, they're really good. Okay, we can add bicep curls. We can go bicep curl, squat, lift, and release. Try that. We'll just get a few in. Remember, this is just a taster of what you could have done with the band. Good, keep good alignment. Tuck your elbows in, work your bicep. Let's just do one more. Excellent, okay. Keep your right foot in, take your left foot out, and let go of the right end. We're gonna go for the shoulder, the front of your shoulder. It's gonna be a split squat. We're gonna squat down. You'll take your right arm forwards. As you come up, you're gonna push your left arm forwards. Breath in down, breath out to lift. You can make the band harder by tightening it up. You can make it easier by slackening it. Now see how I've got that neutral spine? So from the front, also check your knee and hip. So see as I'm coming down, my knees aren't knocking together. Think about the alignment, track the joints, hip, knee and ankle. What's going on here? Am I doing this right? <laughs> Squat down, as you come up, lift. Squat down. You could do that either way. If you wanted to, as you squat down, you could stretch the band. Try that one. So as you squat down, length the band. Let's just do one more. So you've had a little sample of both ways. Okay, switch to the other leg. I love that one, I love split squats. You can really focus on that front leg working. So you've got your left foot on the band in your right hand. Take a small step back, keep your chest up, 
Alignment, breathing, core. Let's breathe in down. So to start with, we'll do the squat. And as we come up, we'll raise the arm. So we'll do two different versions. So that that's a bit easier as so the band goes slack there. If you want to, you can take your other arm forwards. Use that front leg as much as you can. Throw your shoulder girdle down. How are we getting on, everyone? Okay, let's change it. Tighten your band up. As you do the front split squat, raise the arm. A little bit tougher, that one. Keep good technique. Lengthen your neck. Roll us there. So you feel that in front of your shoulder. Do one more for good luck. <laughs> well done. Okay. Take hold of the band. Take the feet wide. Plie squat with lat pull down. So, it's quite hard to work your lats without any equipment. With this one, we can do single arm pull down. So the arm that's staying up, you've got stability of the shoulder girdle and a static contraction, an isometric hold through the shoulders, and then you're pulling down with the other arm working your lats. So think about the muscle that draws your arm into the side of the body. Okay, should we add a plie squat? And lift. Hold one arm completely still. And imagine you're sliding down a pole. <laughs> Doesn't have to be like a lap dancing pole, it could be a lamppost or a wall. From the side, your knees are going out towards your toes. Squeeze the elbow in and lengthen your neck. Keeping your body in the centre. If it's uncomfortable on your hips, then you push your hips back. Well done. Give the shoulders a roll. Okay. Take a band under your right foot. Right foot. Let go of the left side. Find your balance. We're taking the right arm out to the side and the left leg. So we're gonna work on balance here. So you're working your medial deltoids. Now, because the resistance is pulling you this way, all your opposing muscles have to work to keep you upright. So you've got your superficial muscles on the outside contracting and you've got your deep internal muscles working as well. Your core stabilizers. So, if you can, try not to touch the floor with that leg. So you could go out to the side and then bring it up and forwards. And then just have a little think about your ear and your shoulder. Stay as far away from each other as they can. Imagine they're falling out, they're not friends anymore. <laughs> your other arm can just relax by the side, or you can put it across your chest. Breathe out. Breathe in. Keep that going. Well done. Switch sides. So the band's under your left foot. You've got hold of it in the right hand. So alignment. Take a breath in, wide and full. Exhale, engage your centre. A, B, C's. Are you remembering this ABCs? I just go over it all the time. <laughs> Find your balance on your left leg. Off we go. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale. You're trying to keep the pelvis as stable as you can. <sighs> keep the spine in alignment. Draw the ribs down slightly. Think of like rib and hip connection, like strong elastic bands are going from the sternum down to your pubic bone. 
You can take the leg out and you can bring the knee up in front. Yes! You'll be able to conduct as working. The supporting leg, tense up those glutes. That's what I meant to say last time. Really work those glutes to support your back. Feel the side of your shoulder working, medial deltoids. We've got frontal plane of movement there, and then your leg does a little bit of sagittal. Well done. Okay, so we've done the front of the shoulder, the side of the shoulder. We're going to do into the back as well. So take your band, and you're going to place it across your thighs. Okay, we're just going to do tighten your band up, draw your ribs in. You can do a little press. Now just be careful if you've got any shoulder injuries, if you find this one uncomfortable at all, make it smaller or you can just do it without the band. So we press. It's a small move. Now you can get your shoulder blades to come inwards and downwards. Now clench your bum and lift your heels at the same time. So we get some calf work as well. And down. Exhale, push. Inhale. So we've done shoulders, the legs, the mobility, lateral flexion, rotation. We've done pushes, we've done pulls. There's loads, loads more you can do in the band. You could probably about do about a two or three hour class with the band if you've ever thought of every exercise. Oh, a really important one we need to do. Really important one. Last one. Okay. In every Pilates class, we need to do our rotator cuff muscles. So the action is rotation of the shoulder. We don't want to go too far, but it makes you lift your ribs and lean back. We just want to go to about a 45 degree angle. So place the band across your palms, tuck your elbows in, okay, drop the tailbone to the floor, do your ABCs, and as you exhale, stretch the band, and in. So from the side, and dropping the sitting bones down towards the floor, and pulling the rib cage in, my shoulders work as a fixator muscle, it's stopping the upper arm from moving out to the side. The elbows are tucked in and we're rotating. Should we have a knee lift or a heel raise? So you can do heel raise working on your centering again. Or go for a knee lift, shift the weight across. We're going to be finishing on this one. So I've got five minutes and then I've got another class to teach. <laughs> So I hope you've got a few ideas there and I hope you joined in this morning, a little bit of resistance work, strengthening your bones as well as your muscles, just think about that increasing bone density when we're doing anything with resistance, well done. Give your shoulders a roll and have a little swing round with the arms, well done. So guys you want to join me for any more full classes? The Pilates classes are an hour, then you can go to martinjensen.tv or I do have a Facebook group, a private one, which you can be put into for the live classes. So today, half nine, we're going to be doing some Zumba and then we've got a very gentle Pilates on the mat at half ten. We've got kettlebells at half eleven. And then we've got my friend Sam, who's also a Pilates, modern Pilates instructor, teaching modern Pilates tonight. Give your shoulders a roll, take your band in the air, give it a wave, <laughs> shake it all out. Thank you very much everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day, whatever you're up to.